Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So today we're doing something a bit different. We're going to be going to Superdrugs and I'm going to see basically what's new, what's affordable, and then we'll try the products out later on in the video. This is where I have to be brave and not care what anyone thinks. Because they don't want to stare at me. <laughs> Okay, first we have Makeup Revolution. I know that we're gonna get some good bargains here, so let's start from the left to the right. There's a good like selection here as well. Okay. Got my basket. I think I got a lot of requests to try this, so I'm gonna go for 10. My shade's 10.5. Actually, do you know what? I think I'm gonna go for 10. Okay, I just swatched 10.5 and I, that's definitely my shade. But I'm gonna grab this say so oil free which i'm not a fan of but we're going to try it anyways then we'll try c10 in the concealer okay this lip liner in americano brown looks promising so we're going to put that in there this is like one of my favorite eyeshadows but i was going to get another one but i'm not a fan of the other ones this is one I have for Halloween. I actually love a precise brow pencil. And I don't think I've tried this one, so I'm gonna get this in dark brown. It's only four pounds. And get that. Okay, so these I have tried them, but I only like the color corrector. Like the concealers are way too dry for my under eyes, but these are great correctors. Oh my god, love the can't stop won't stop. How much is it now? Eleven? I don't even know. Oh, it's eight ninety nine, which is not bad. These are such good primers. If you're looking for an affordable primer, like I swear by these. This is really pretty. But I think I have this at home. Oh, this is the best eyebrow pencil. Next microbrow. Getting busier now. <sighs> okay, so this is new Maybelline foundation. I have this at home, so we're gonna try it actually. I already have this, so that'll be part of try on later. Just seeing what's new on Maybelline. Can't see anything like new. This is like one of my favorite skin tints as well. I use a shade 45. Now we're on Rimmel. This eyeliner, literally swear by this stuff. I've got used so many. Love this mascara, it's really good. And these glosses. These glosses are bomb. Okay, so there's nothing else here that I want. I remember I used to use their makeup, I don't even know, 3 Eno. Then we have Max Factor. Apparently these foundations are supposed to be really good. I feel like that would have been a perfect shade for me, but it doesn't look like it's a new one. Like it's open. It's a shame. Oh, they have some here. Oh, we already have the Maybelline foundation, so I might skip it. Keep this for another day um but if you're looking for something great for max factor these are so good and the lip liners especially warm brown warm brown lip glazes there's also like the multi perfecto concealer but i can't find it here so oh collection i think like the shade ranges definitely need some improvement though for sure unless they're not stocking it all here but that like there's not shades in here though I have one of these at home actually, I haven't tried it yet, so we're gonna keep it for the video. It's like a silvery shade. And we're at Barry M. It's nothing like appealing to me right now, Barry M. Ooh, MUA. Have these like really nice lipsticks, so show you. I think I might grab that. I feel like that would go well with the lipstick I chose. Or maybe let, let's go for a lighter one. Something like that. £3.50 guys, that's a bargain. Okay, I'm gonna grab this shade. Oh, they have some pretty eyeshadows. Cause we're gonna go for like a silvery shade. I think I might go for this. It's like so affordable. Three seventy-five bargain. We have Milani. Okay, I have this at home, so I'm thinking I'm gonna keep it for the video because I haven't opened it yet. But I used to use this years ago. I wanna get try and find a bronzer, but it's really it's really hard to find bronzers for brown skin at the drugstore to be honest. So I'm literally breaking everything. Oh my god. I don't know what happened there. Um I almost made that whole thing fall. Like, what the hell? If anyone's are saying that this is really good 
Like if you want your makeup stay in place, it's so good. Let's see if there's anything on L'Oreal. I have bronzer. Oh, let's go to Misguided. No, Elf. Elf. I've got a good stand for Elf here. They don't have the satin foundation that everyone's been asking me about. So I'm probably going to have to order that online. I've got a lot of this already, guys. So I think I'm going to have to skip Elf. Oh, I thought they had way more misguided, but there's literally nothing. I feel like I need a, like a mascara. Who does good mascaras? I've got so many of the L'Oreal ones. Maybelline do good ones, actually. Let's try Maybelline one. I think this one's new. I haven't tried this one. So let's do black. What colours do they have? I think they're all black. Okay, let's get this. Okay, time to pay. Hello. Hey, it's a camera. <laughs> I'm like vlogging. <laughs> I have my super drug card. I only see in um, TikTok and even the vloggers. I never encountered them. Oh, really? <laughs> I never saw one of you. Oh, you don't have to. Thank you. Oh, I was just showing like what's new and like in store that's so good i got is that free for two or on all yeah all of them revolute on everything yeah you can mix match enjoy your day great Take you too care. Thank bye. Care. bye thought i would be able to like grab more but i already have so much at home and there wasn't like a lot of options in store yeah but i'm glad i got to pick some bits up and then we can try it all later all right see you guys later all right guys we're now back home my lips are very very dry right now so if you had this at home this is a color changing lip and cheek oil in the shade the og and it's by mua makeup academy mua makeup academy or just mua it, oh it feels very watery rather than a, a, an oil yeah i can definitely see some pink coming through i mean it's done the job but i think it's definitely on the like liquidy side for me for my liking to be honest okay i'm gonna do my makeup how i usually do it Oh, I actually really like this colour though. It's like getting brighter and brighter as I go along. I always start with my brows. So I've been wanting to try this Wonder Freeze Brow Lamination Gel by Rimmel. But every time I was going in store, I couldn't find it in stock because people were literally going crazy over this stuff. Um, it's just basically a clear brow gel. Kind of like, it almost reminds me like the Refi like gel because you have the comb here. And then obviously if you go like this... So I'm going to do one side with this brow gel and I'm also going to try this Power Hold Freezing Brow Glue by Collection. The thing with Collection makeup products, they are so, so, so affordable, like honestly. So I really, I really want to try this out and see if it's good because I'm so picky with brow gels. It, like it has to hold my stubborn ass hairs. So I'm going to do the Rimmel one on this side. Put my hairs back to nicely coat them and then I'll just like comb them upwards and then press, especially like towards the tail because that's that's where they're like really stubborn so far it's holding i mean i could use this but i don't think i need to i don't want them to go too high up here kind of like line them down i'm gonna let that dry for a bit the collection one comes with a really tiny brush so i'm gonna do the same thing trust me there have been a lot of brow gels that have disappointed me because they just don't hold my brow hairs my brow hairs have the tendency of going down especially towards the outer end Oh my god, look at my lips. That's a really pretty shade, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just like pressing it in place. Why are my hairs on the rimmel side going down? I'm gonna put some more. Because I'm not gonna lie, this is the stubborn brow. So sometimes I do have to go in, even with my By Eddie brow gel, I have to go in twice here. So I'm just gonna press that in place. So I'm just gonna let that dry. I haven't done a video like this in so long, so I'm just like so excited. Skin is hydrated. We are gonna be trying two foundations today. I have the Makeup Revolution In Real Life Filter, Long Wear Soft Matte Foundation, and then we have the Lumi Matte Foundation by Maybelline. This is a new one. Apparently this was like so popular in Asia. I have the shade 327 in the Maybelline, which I think it might be a little bit warm. And then F10.5 in the Revolution one. I'm so glad I didn't go with the F10 because it would have been way too light. But then it also depends if this is gonna oxidize. This is the Makeup Revolution one, Maybelline one. I just dropped makeup on my new leggings. Anytime, this always happens to me, anytime I wear like something new, like I stain it, like something gets on it, tomato sauce, oil, or lash glue, or foundation. But luckily with foundation, I can put a bit of the, um, I've just tried makeup remover, it's not coming off, but I'm, I'm gonna use a um, <laughs> vanish stain remover, I will take it off. I think it's gonna have to be a no-no for the foundation on the Maybelline side. Here goes.
I've usually been 10.5 in other foundations, but this one's looking a little bit light, guys. <sighs> it's looking a little light, which is a shame. This is definitely not my shade, even though I tried it in store. But then it's also like, I have always been this shade. Um, so I think I might be the one above 11, or I think 12.5 would be too um, dark. So yeah, I think it'd be 11, F11. Let's just hope that this oxidizes. I don't like this at all. At all. I don't know, maybe I, I was rushed. Maybe the lighting was off. I mean, I just, just quickly swatched it on my hand. But yeah, this is coming right off. Way too pink as well. Well, this is starting very well, isn't it? We're gonna go in with the Maybelline one. Rather have a warm, darker foundation than a light, ashy foundation. Because with a warm foundation, you can, I'm using a different side of the sponge, by the way. Um, you can like lighten it up with some concealer, like under the eyes, it kind of all balances out towards the end. And also that you don't have ashiness. Whilst with a light one, it just looks like you're dead, your corpse. We'll make it work, guys. I actually also like the way this feels on my skin better than the Makeup Revolution. I feel like the other one was a bit too matte and drying already, like upon application. So this is just sitting on my skin a little bit better. The coverage is like medium for sure. I really struggled opening all the packaging for this stuff. I don't know what it is with Superdrug. I mean, I know like people are stealing a lot, but like the packaging is almost in making it impossible for the consumer to use their products once they've bought them because there's why, why so many layers? We have the In Real Life Concealer. The Dofa applicator is very peculiar. I think the shade is, oh, the shade. It's not like my usual shade I go for, to be honest. It's very gray, almost. This is C10. This is definitely not going well. Oh my God. I mean, not blending really nice, but like I said, but again, I don't know if I like this. <laughs> Coverage is like not there. It's not there. Let's carry on. The only thing I didn't have today was bronzer. I'm just gonna use my Max Factor Trusty Old Bronzer. Like I said, it's really hard to find bronzers for brown skin. I'm tempted to put some more concealer there because coverage, where's the coverage? One thing I've noticed with these Makeup Revolution products, there's a funky chemically smell in it that I'm not used to. I'm just gonna leave it there. A little bit better there, a little bit better, but still not there. I mean, this is a really very much a testing out video. I can't remember if I used this powder before. This is a setting powder uh, by Studio London. I think I may have tried this before, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna set that under eye. It's not the best powder, let's just say that. It's starting off very terribly right now. I'm just gonna blend that. I think maybe before, this is a translucent shade, but yeah, it's coming up very light. But with the concealer, I don't think it's working at all. It's sitting okay under my skin though. Okay, hopefully this blush will save this look because I feel like I need it. Because your girl needs help right now. This is the Milani blush in Coralina. I swear years ago I've used this. It's really pretty, but I think for me, shimmery blushes aren't my most favorite. I feel like the only shimmery blushes I've really liked are the Charlotte Tilbury ones. The thing is, is like, if you want a lot of color, you're gonna have to put more of the powder, and the more powder you put, the more shimmery you're gonna look. And then it highlights all your texture and stuff, which, so you have to be a bit careful with these. I feel like I need some, some mist. So we're gonna use the Studio London Feeling Peachy You Do You Setting Mist. Oh, it smells very nice. I really like that. Okay, what's happening with the brows? I think I need to put some more because they have fallen a bit. I did have higher hopes with this Rimmel one. I did give it the harder job of trying to tame my stubborn brow, but I feel like it's struggling a little bit. I think both are, to be honest. Setting mist was a lifesaver. I feel like it really helped pull together my this base. I really don't like the under eyes, guys. Something's not going right. The foundation, actually, I'm quite surprised. It is really nice, and the blush is bomb. I'm just gonna use some of my Max Factor Multi Perfector Concealer on my lid, just as, a, like, a base. Perfect concealer from Superdrug. It's the Max Factor Multi Perfector one. Like, I feel like this could have, this could, if I used this concealer, it just would have elevated this look. I'm just, I'm just getting not, not enough coverage under my eyes. But as we move on, we are gonna try this MUA eyeshadow palette. This was super affordable. So I'm gonna start off with the brown shade. Ooh. Use 
use a clean brush to blend out the edges. Okay, wow. I'm, I'm a bit shocked at the payoff right now and the way like it's blending so nicely. I'm gonna go in with the black and then just kind of darken the lower lash line. I wanna go too high up with this, but it's again, very pigmented. Just blending it into the brown. Okay, I'm gonna take this very pretty purple color here and place this, and place this all over. It's like a very holographic kind of shade. I'm just shocked at how easy this is and how affordable it was. Yeah, really, really happy with that. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. This is what the eyes are looking like. I'm also gonna put some of the brown on the outer corner here. Can I just say there was barely any fallout? So I have this collection glitter eyeliner, but I'm gonna put it kind of like on the lid. Looks like this. I don't think I have anything like this because this is like really chunky glitter. I don't even know if it's picking up on camera. But they had a ton of shades of this as well. Okay, this is, it's in the shade ready for anything. It's very pure silver, very sparkly, which is it's just so pretty. I'm going to put some Revolution Black Coal Liner. The thing with coal, li coal liner, you want to see like if it smudges. So I'm going to keep this look on. For a few hours just to like put everything to the test but i really really like how black this is very smoky sultry eyes okay now i'm gonna curl these lashes the thing i would say with this glitter keep your eyelids closed while until it's fully fully dry okay now i'm gonna keep use the maybelline firework mascara this is what it looks like i really like the look of the brush if you've been following me for a while, you guys know how picky I am with mascaras. So far, this is doing really well. Like, I like how it's gripping. It's giving, like, volume and length. Okay, that is with one coat only, which is insane. Insane. I think I might have another favourite. It depends how this wears, though. Maybelline mascaras tend to usually do quite well. Coming back to the lip oil. I don't know how long I've been filming for, but the lip oil is mostly gone. I'm just left with a stain. Yeah, so I wouldn't say that was my favourite lip oil if i'm honest so now we're going to try this in real life filter finish lip definer americano brown it's like the perfect chocolatey brown and it's a twisty up one which is nice because i don't have to sharpen it okay wow that was super creamy lip liner is a 10 out of 10 so creamy so pigmented and i love the brown and we're gonna go in with the mua lipstick this is a creamy matte lipstick in the shade heroic she is matte i'm kind of glad this i got this shade because i think it's gonna go well with the eye makeup okay i have nothing at all to complain about the lip products i'm gonna take this power power by studio london this one's in a shade three one six I'm just gonna put this like on the outer corner mostly just kind of blend the two colors but that is a pretty pretty gloss shape oh and it feels amazing as well okay let's do a quick coat of quick second coat i really like this mascara it's so good it literally looks like I've got falsies on. I'm going to go in with this Revolution Precise Brow Pencil. i got the shade Dark Brown and it is definitely precise. Like how tiny it, this is. Let's try and fix these brows, why don't we? Okay, I really, 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 really like this brow pencil. Okay, that is the finished look, guys. I, first of all, like the eyes, the eye makeup. It's so good. I think we should go through everything and just see like if I think it's worth it, okay? Based on my first impression. I feel like everything has come together, but there are some things I definitely haven't liked. Love the brow pencil. Very disappointed with the two brow gels. I just feel like they, they're good, but they're not good, good. They're not as good as the By Ellie Brow Texture, which is a really affordable, same price as the Rimmel. Uh, the Got To Be Brow Gel is really good. It just takes longer to dry, but it holds everything in place. For, whilst right now, I feel like I'm lacking that laminated brow look. So these two, unfortunately, didn't, didn't give that. Honestly, not the right shade, but the formula didn't feel right on my skin. Formula is very nice, 
but the wrong shade. So we'll see how this sits throughout the day. I do not like the concealer, unfortunately. It's just not enough coverage and unfortunately the wrong shade. The blush is pretty. It's pretty, but you just have to be a bit careful not to put too much. I mean, the palette is okay. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Bargain, such a good eyeshadow palette. Very, very pigmented, very, very blendable. I just feel like the, you can't go wrong with these. I'm very, very shook. I'm so surprised how this is good. I really like the Makeup Revolution Coal Eyeliner. Very black, but we'll see how it wears. Oh my God, this mascara is like a 1010 right now based on my first impressions. It's so good, so, so good. This glitter really elevated this eye look. So yeah, I might need to get the other shade. Just bear in mind that it's a very chunky glitter. It's not like the Made by Mitchell glitter that I use all the time that, that gives an effortless sparkle to the lip. The lids, this is like chunky glitter. Perfect for like, Diwali or New Year's I would say and honestly all the all the lip products hit so and also I feel like this setting spray just helped melt everything save my base I'm not gonna lie currently 118 now I'm gonna wear this for a few hours I'm not gonna wear it for all day because I just feel like the base isn't there but there are a few things that I want to see how it looks like after a few hours this is a little close up I feel like this is not the best, like apart from the eyes, I feel like the eyes are hitting, but it's not like the best base I have, I've had. Like, it's crazy when you don't have the right perfect product, sometimes it just doesn't look the best. And don't get me wrong, there are bomb products at Superdrug and at the, at, you know, at the, at, at the drugstore, but it just, today from all the stuff that I tried, it unfortunately just didn't work out. So yeah, I'll be back later on. It's just about to hit 7pm and this is what my face is looking like. It's very glowy, very, I'm not used to this glowiness when it's supposed to be a soft matte foundation um it's very warm like very orange um so yeah the shade is completely off honestly i feel like i feel the same as i did earlier on with, with all the products except that the eyes the glitter you have to be really careful because it started like the glitter started crunching up in my like, kind of like started gathering in my creases so then it was like crumbling off i mean the makeup still looks good but when i look down there's like lines so i think like if you're gonna put this you need to put such a thin layer and like let it dry before you open your lid and maybe not use as much as i did but it's very pretty i would only this is very chunky glitter like i would only use this if i was going for like an, a wedding a special event for me this is not like every day makeup i don't know if you can see can you see the lines and it was basically big clumps of it like falling off when i was like touching it so yeah that was a bit downside on the glitter but i think the shadow itself did really well yeah i liked everything else i just wouldn't recommend the foundation either foundation or the concealer and the mascara did so well at not like smudging and stuff i don't have anything to complain about the lips i didn't even touch up throughout the day but it was they were really nice lip product this was super fun trying out new makeup if you did like this video let me know if you want more and i'll try and do maybe other ones another one at Superdrug, or maybe one like at boots or we could even do like sephora and stuff let me know if you did enjoy this definitely do more it was so fun and yeah thanks for stopping by and i will see you guys in my next video